Know yourself, and you will know the universe. You may say, but how? With the apprenticeship of symbolic language, you will know how to decode your dreams and also your daily life, your signs, and understand how everything is synchronized according to your program, your memory. I'm going to give you a concrete story, a sign. A young lady came to me and asked, what's the sign? Because the other day, when I left home to go to the office, I found a baby cat, a kitten, that mewed very loudly. And it was hidden in a bush near my staircase. It was alone. It seemed to have just been born since it had still its umbilical cord. I was very disturbed by the situation and I took it to the animal shelter, hoping that it would be saved. I was very afraid that it would die. So what's the sign? When we know that there is no coincidence, never. So, to understand the sign, first, the main subject, the main symbol, the cat. So, to understand what's behind a form, it's the behavior, attitude. So, always the plus, always the minus. The plus of a cat is very independent. The beautiful independence that is very important to have. But the negative side is over independent. So here, since the cat is not at the right place, it was abandoned, it's the minus of the cat. To be over independent and reject the other, and behind this attitude, there are emotional dependencies. This is why we reject others. And it was just a baby cat, something new, starting. And it had still its umbilical cord, and it was hidden in the bush. So it means that it had been abandoned. Just to see the umbilical cord triggered in her memories of abandonment, a lack of love, a lack of caring. Remember, related to independence and over-independence, because sometimes when we have been hurt, we no longer want to love others. And it was interesting what this young lady was going through, because to analyze a sign, we have to think what I was thinking right now at that moment, or what I was going through in this period. In fact, she was going through a difficulty in her couple because her boyfriend many months ago had gone through an infidelity and she was reconstructing her couple the right way, you know, asking signs and dreams to do it the right way this time. And in seeing this little cat, kitten, she was afraid you know, to lose her independence or again to reject, to be like the cat that, oof, reject the others, keep him at a distance and can no longer love. And she wanted to save this part, but she didn't want only to save the kitten, but she wanted to save this part of her. You know, in that case, she had fears but she had not fears for the cat, but for herself, to lose her independences and to be again hurt by emotional dependencies. So you may say, so okay, now I know that, but what do I do that to change it? First of all, I'm more conscious of this kind of memories, and then I do a mantra, an angelic mantra, repeating a mantra and an angel represents qualities, a state of conscience that I can record, embody in me. 
My husband and I will be giving workshops explaining signs, dreams, symbolic language, and how you can develop your emotional intelligence for a happy destiny. Angelic blessings to all of you.